I need you to hear me out when I say this. Rhino designing the trailer? Pretty cool, but take off the pants. Grab that belt, unbuckle it, zip it down, and take off the pants. As long as there's no rhino schlong, we got a perfect rhino design. The second trailer for Craven the Hunter has now been released late at night for some odd reason. And as tradition with us Spider-Man fans, we are just bound to watch whatever Sony spin-off they make. We just have to. So with it here, I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on the trailer, breaking down some of the things you might have missed, and also revealing to you what changes Sony made from what it was going to look like back in October of last year, because that's when the movie was about to be released in theaters, but they delayed it an entire year for reshoots, and I think we're going to be happy with some of the changes they decided to make. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the second trailer for Craven the Hunter. Where do you think it'll fall in terms of quality of the Sony spinoffs? Is it going to be as bad as Madam Web? mid like Morbius or entertainingly dumb like Venom. One day this scale will reach good movie. One day. All right, so let's just start off with the elephant in the room. It is so weird that they decided to just randomly post this trailer in the middle of the night, midnight California time, but 2 a.m. my time might have been 3 a.m. your time. Usually when a trailer drops like that at midnight with no anticipation building up to it, it's because the studio wants to hide the trailer. So part of me was expecting this trailer to kind of just be as awful and really show this movie's not going to be all that great, but... This trailer, I like it much better than the first. I still got a lot of criticisms, but man, one thing this trailer does right is it highlights what we love about Craven and that he's a hunter. This whole trailer is basing off the back of Aaron Taylor Johnson being this ultimate hunter, this guy that if you end up on his list, there's only one way off of it, and that's through death. That's the sequences that we're gifted in here, and man, Aaron Taylor Johnson just looks fantastic as Craven the Hunter. I think he's really pulling off that Craven vest, the little shots of him in the jungle, like, would have liked him to face off against Spider-Man in a Spider-Man movie, but this is what we're gonna get for now. And also just giant bonus points for this movie being rated R. Like, that's gonna help this movie just be entertaining on a whole different level. Like, still don't think it's gonna end up being a good movie? Yeah, yeah, I know. Call me Chris the Hater. But even if this movie is like Madam Web or Morbius levels of bad, showing me a sequence where Craven flat out stabs somebody and I get to see the blood, or this shot where he sends the bear trap on someone's head i'm not gonna hate the movie as much i'm gonna be pretty entertained with those moments in the film but we all gotta admit like why, why didn't they do that in the venom franchise think about the r-rated potential for venom movies but with that in mind let's now talk about the things that it looks like sony might have changed or fixed about their movie because that is what we heard about yesterday there was an article talking about the director of this movie jc chander and deadline reported that the movie being delayed an entire year was a response to the fan backlash for madam webb how people just really did not like that movie and Sony doesn't want to continue being the laughing stock of comic book movies and so they streamlined it and strengthened a bunch of story points which is extremely vague and not all that specific but noticing a big change from this trailer to the last trailer I think they might have gotten rid of Craven's Bluetooth animal powers, or at least tone them down where they're almost non-existent. If you go back to the first trailer of Craven the Hunter, they added in this weird power for Craven, where he was like bitten by a radioactive lion, his blood fused together, some voodoo stuff was happening, and now all of a sudden, Craven had a Bluetooth connection with every animal. He could see through a bird's POV up in the sky, he could use the ears of a wolf from far away to hunt his prey, like, not gonna lie, that is a pretty cool power i'd take that mutant ability if it was possible but at the same time it didn't really feel like craven the hunter i mean this is a character who's all built up on the pride of being able to hunt things on his own and you know having this connection to an animal i feel like that also defeats the purpose of him being a major killer of a lot of animals most of the clothes this guy wears is literally made out of animals he's killed so him almost having this connection to animals is almost like making craven a vegetarian and that's like what I don't think that matches the character. And in the second trailer, that power is almost non-existent. You still definitely get moments where you see a heightened ability in Kraven, where he has like a little bit of extra strength, or he's crawling all, all four, so he might still have enhanced strength, and that is a thing in the comics. Kraven does sometimes use potions and things like that to heighten his own abilities, but he never had the Bluetooth animal powers, as far as I know. So I really wonder now if they either got rid of that power set, and are just not going to really include it in the movie or they're just hiding it because they knew fans like me were complaining and whining because that's that's what fans do 
especially Spider-Man fans. But the next interesting thing that they actually changed about this movie that I think are gonna make people a lot happier, myself included, is the shots involving the Rhino. Now we're gonna talk about the Rhino design and what I think of it in a sec, but we're currently getting word from a lot of insiders that everything involving this Rhino fight was not in the original cut of the movie. Thanks to Daniel RPK, who's been a reliable source and was actually the person who let us know we would get this trailer come midnight. And since that was accurate, I'm gonna believe them here. And well, he was responding to a fan, Nando, who has his own YouTube channel. Check him out sometime, he's great. Where Nando says, I fully stand by my prediction that this was originally the end of the movie and the actual Rhino stuff was added in reshoots. With Daniel RPK confirming it was the end of the movie per a test screening. Looking like the original Original cut of this movie that we were going to get last October was going to end with us getting a tease of Rhino versus Craven, but the movie never actually delivering on that. Ooh, Sony, you were smart to do these reshoots, because I tell you, if that's the way you ended this movie with teasing Rhino in the trailer and you didn't give me that in the movie... 1 out of 10. I would have gone off on your movie, Sony. That would have pissed off so many people. I hate this trend sometimes studios do. It's not just Sony. Other studios have done this where they show like the last moments of the movie in the trailer for some reason. And it looks like Sony was gonna be a guilty party of that where they were like, yeah, Rhino's gonna be here. He's gonna fight Kraven. You wanna see what he looks like? You gotta watch the movie. That was going to be their setup for the sequel. So Craven 2 would have been Craven versus the Rhino. I'm assuming test audiences hated that and they were just really not wanting to disappoint fans again after Madam Web. So they're like, let's reshoot some stuff where just Rhino actually fights Craven at the end of this movie. And now we're getting those actual scenes. So basically everything we're seeing here was not originally supposed to be in this cut of the movie, which makes me think this Craven versus Rhino fight is not gonna go on very long, but hey, at least we're going to get it. So now getting onto this design for the Rhino, look, Overall, I do like it. I was joking about the pants. You can keep them on. My only criticism of it is the actual face. I just really like that rhino look with the human face. So him being almost like a mutated animal with that actual gray face just looks a little odd to me. Don't exactly love that. But this is a major improvement from the rhino we got in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Although I love Paul Giamatti and I would have been fine seeing that fight go down, I much prefer this rhino design over that one. I think I think a good rhino design is just really hard to do because it's supposed to kind of be a mishmash of the Paul Giamatti and this one. A lot of people think since the rhino is a guy in a suit that that suit must be mechanical and they do do that in the Ultimate Comics, which is kind of like a really badass looking rhino suit. But originally the rhino suit wasn't mechanical. It was a suit, but it was just a suit made out of a really strong polymer and a really big guy who would wear it and then attack Spider-Man with it. Not much tech involved. So I I guess to some filmmakers it's just easier to do an all-tech rhino suit or a guy who just turns into a giant rhino. So overall it looks like Sony maybe might have made some changes to the movie that make it a lot more bearable and watchable. Heck I'm seeing a lot of people just like excited for this movie and going yo this actually looks cool it looks not bad and Sony did recently compare it saying that they think this will be as successful as their Venom movies and people seem to get a real kick out of those. I think the action sequences and rhino stuff is going to be a highlight but I just don't know how much I'm going to come out enjoying this this movie. I will give them props though for not throwing in any random weird Spider-Man Easter eggs in this trailer. You know they love to do that and this didn't even show a spider when the first trailer did. So Sony is slowly learning. It's a little too late, Sony. Let me know what you guys thought about the second trailer for Craven the Hunter. If you're going to be checking out this movie, some of the changes they've made or you agree with. Anything and everything, be sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care.